investment firm. And I was in the middle of that firm. I wasn't running the show or anything. I was just kind of Joe Average guy sitting there. And I thought about it. watched the Red Sox get auctioned off to the John Henry Group. And I thought, oh my gosh, that Boston team just got sold. I mean, that's unbelievable. And I started thinking about the other Boston teams. And I knew I didn't have, I didn't have money. I didn't have much money at all. And I certainly didn't have enough money to buy the Patriots. So I didn't even call Robert. And I knew they were in and they were new. I didn't have the money to buy the Bruins, but I flew to Buffalo and I asked Jeremy Jacobs if he would sell me the Bruins. And he gave me the one word answer, no. And so I turned around and flew back. And then I tried to track down the Celtics owner. And the Celtics owner was a very, very nice guy, but he had not been in Boston for four years. And this was my first clue. Maybe there's something, maybe he didn't enjoy owning the team. The team was publicly traded. And there's a reason for telling this ancient old story. It's why I bought the team, why we as an ownership group bought the team. It had nothing to do with money. It was all about love and passion. And so uh, I found the guy in New York. I got a one-on-one -on -one appointment with him. I asked him point blank if he would sell me the team. He named a number. I accepted. I told him I don't have the money, but I'm going to have it in three months. <laughs> and I had to raise $360 million in three months to buy the Celtics. And I had this little tiny piece. I had to put down a deposit, a non-refundable deposit. And in order to put down the deposit, I had to mortgage my house. So I really, when I say I didn't have, I'm not made of money. And, uh, but I, but I, I'm made of passion, I guess.